guys so I really wanted to get this video up before I left for Dubai but see the way my life is set up I just was running around crazy that day and I just didn't have time but it's better to do it now than never okay so what I want to do in this video I wanted to jam everything in but I don't think I'm gonna try to do that I'm just going to do a what fits into my bag and a quick unboxing a quick Louis Vuitton unboxing okay let's do this let's get started all right I really wanted to review this keep all bag that I have been using I've used this um, a lot I've used this at least about I want to say about five times on some mini trips that I've taken over the last couple of months so this is the Louis Vuitton keep all massacre <laughs> it has the treated black leather instead of the vachetta leather and then of course you know this part is the louis vuitton monogram um yeah so and it's the bandolier it has the strap right here so just looking at this bag i hate that my luggage tag is doing something crazy i need to turn it around anyway <laughs> um you can see that this bag is beautiful it's a beautiful Louis Vuitton piece and I do like the monogram Louis Vuitton I mean I don't want everything in my collection to be monogram obviously but I do like some staple pieces to be monogram so I think this is great I love to use this for um travel and but I want to tell you the pros and the cons of using a bag like this so let's get into that First of all, um, it's a great bag for a short trip. I would say no more than three days. Anything more than three days, you're probably going to need the 55 size and not the 45 size. Also, I don't care really how light you get. You have to really pack this bag light for it not to seem heavy. Some people have said that the quality of these are not great, but in my situation, I don't have any holes. It's not punctured. Um... It's been thrown around up, you know, when you put it at the top of the plane, I set it on the ground and it still looks so pristine. So I do think it's a durable bag, I guess, depending on, you know, yours, but it gets heavy. I still have to get my husband half, but by the time I walk around the airport, I'm tired and I'm handing him the bag. So just be mindful of that, that it will get heavy if you overstuff it or overpack it. Also. If you overstuff it, um, and right now I just have it filled up with like packing items that I use, like shoe bags and stuff like that. If you overstuff it, it's going to be hard to zip. Just keep that in mind. It's going to be very difficult to zip, which is super duper uber annoying. So if you want it to zip, you know, easily, you can't overpack it. It's just not a big bag. It really is, in my opinion for overnight use and you're kind of stretching it when you go to two or three days um that's my thoughts on the bag i love it it's beautiful it's really a standout piece but it's like a casual piece that you can like throw around you don't have to like worry that it's going to get messed up with that machetta you know you don't have to worry about it it's just modern it's sleek it's chic so let me show you what i took with me to dubai right now Okay, you guys, so I'm about to pack really quick. My flight leaves in about three hours, so I have all the stuff that I'm trying to get into this bag. I think Hubby's going to put that into his carry-on, so let's see what we can fit in here. All right, so I already have a pair of shoes. They are some bad shoes. I can't wait to wear, wear them. So I put them in shoe bags, you know, so that they wouldn't get messed up because they're kind of elaborate. I already have my undergarments. Y'all don't need to see that. So I placed those in here. And that's the only thing I have in the keep all so far. So the first thing I'm packing is a tank top. I'm just going to, I'm a bad packer. Let me say that. I'm just going to fold that over and tuck it in somewhere that's free. Then I have my little night set that I'm wearing. I'm going to fold that over and tuck that in. Then I have these little shorts. And tuck that in somewhere. Then I have a white t-shirt. 
So I'm going to roll that as well and tuck that in. I have this black like bodycon dress to wear under one of the caftans that I brought because we're not going to do any swimming this trip but and that's a whole nother story I left all my bathing suits in America so yeah I have a sheer cardigan for a night look that I want to do so I'm just going to roll that Tuck it in. A pair of black pants from Forever 21 that I love. Gonna roll that too. My bonnet. Got to have that. My beautiful calf in here. We are going to roll that too. I'll tuck that in. A pair of pants that I think I'm going to do the desert safari in. Scarf. All right. A very very beautiful caftan. We're getting kind of packed here. Little cropped sequin crop top that I'm not really going to wear as a crop top, but I have an outfit idea. This is like an off the shoulder top that I got from Forever 21. And then I have one more thing, which are these pants. So we are kind of reaching capacity here. This is all my makeup right here in this bag, that's all the makeup that I'm taking. I'm taking very little things. So I think I can fit everything in my purse. I think I'm gonna take the Gucci purse. I really need to invest in a tote. Um, I'm still looking around for a tote to invest in, but I think I can get all of my makeup and everything in this bag. And then I think my husband is gonna put this bag in his carry-on. So whatever overflow can probably fit in there. All right, the only dilemma that I have is I wanted to bring this purse, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit it. So everything fit except the purse. And then I'm going to stick some earrings down in the bag. I have these earrings that I think I'm going to take and these earrings right here. And I think I'm also going to take these earrings. So... I can just stick those in in between my clothes because like I said, this is going on the plane with me. All right, so that's all I took with me to Dubai. Now I wanna do this quick unboxing really quickly. I popped into Louis Vuitton because hubby got, recently got a watch. They, they recently released some kind of smart watch or something of another and he went crazy for it. So he got that and while I was in there, I really didn't plan on buying anything, but I wanted like a, a Louis Vuitton cosmetic case. Um, they had the, like the little moon shaped one, so I was thinking of picking up that one, but the person who was helping me, what do you call them, um, my client advisor <laughs> that was helping me, um, he was like, wait a minute, I got something else for you. Because you know, everyone loves those square ones, and I think they come in different size, I don't know what they're called, but they're like the little cosmetic bags. And he was saying that a lot of bloggers are using them as clutches, so they're all sold out and they're back ordered and whatever. But he was like, no, I got something else for you that you can kind of use as a cosmetic bag, but you could also use it as a clutch when you're on vacation. And I was like, that sounds good to me. This is the item. I believe, um, I forgot what it's called. So I will leave the name of what this is called. And I will also leave a link in the description below if you're interested in this. Um, I think this is the perfect size, especially if I'm going to put it into the keep all. 
And so I also used it as a clutch. I'm going to show you this picture right here. Um, this top that I'm wearing is still available, so there's a link below in the description if you're interested in this top that I'm showing you. This is a multi-purpose bag, and I'm happy that I picked it up. And yeah, that's really all I have to say. Um, my second video is going to be a Dubai recap, like, you know, what we did, where we went, where we stayed, because I had a request for that. Um, Dubai is very expensive, so I do want to give you some little tidbits on what we did. It was only a short weekend trip because hubby's still working because he has to come back and prepare for work. Um, yeah, so that's it, you guys. I will see you in my next video. Um, why do I keep saying, um, bye, guys.